Tom, thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time something I'm really excited about. It's another bottle of 50-50 Eclipse from Chunky California. Um, this is the Rittenhouse Rye uh, barrel aged version. 11.9% ABV, I thought it was a lot weaker. I mean, uh, this is why I brought this up, second beer of the day. Um, I thought, well, what a better way to start. Bought this um, at the um, Michelin and Friends uh, bottle shop in um, Copenhagen. They had, a, they had nearly all of them, it was ridiculous. But it's when there's just bottle after bottle of lovely wax top, and that's why I went for this one. Mainly from watching a review that uh, guys on Clemson and Brew did. So, yeah, really looking forward to this. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. did a pretty good job there. I mean, Rob's awesome. strength. The professional. Well, well, Adam, if it came down to strength, it'd have been you. I would have obviously passed. I'm the weakest one of these, yeah. these three. <laughs> Two. Two. I haven't counted either. Jerry <laughs> <laughs> Glass. Oh, yeah, sorry, I do apologize. Too busy taking photos. Yeah. <laughs> Looks beautiful. I can smell that from here. That's uh, so beautiful cutting on the edge. It really is, and it's fairly carbonated as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, lovely kind of mocha top on that one. It's, it's fairly thin. It's disappeared, but it, I'm surprised how carbonated that is. Yeah. But lacing a beauty. Look at that lacing on the glass. Yeah. It's just alcohol legs for days. Black as night. Yeah. It, it looks like imperial stout. Really does. So check out the aroma. Check it out. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's really actually a lot sweeter than I expected it to be. Yeah, it's it's so really subtle and tamed. It's yeah. just really. Do you know what? It's, it's such a mellow aroma for yeah. like point nine though, isn't it? Yeah. It it is quite spirit led though. I mean, yeah. I think uh, definitely the, the the barrels are the prominent aroma on it. Well, it is it, for me. It's it does really. have kind of like a spirit kind of like like um, like like. Um, like turps, <laughs> <laughs> literally alcohol, yeah, but not burning your nostrils off. No, no, yeah, I can see that. It's 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 quite fruity. I'm yeah. gonna say it's quite more so. It's like you know, it's stone back. dark yeah. fruits, but it's it's definitely it's definitely uh, whiskey forward. But you yeah. do get a little bit of oak fruit. Oh, yeah, definitely lots of oak. Yeah, no, not only can, it's not the sweeter coffee and chocolate. Caramel no, kind of of yeah, I mean that's that's the last thing that I would have yeah. actually expected from this beer, and the, the aroma kind of indicates that. So yeah, yeah. check it out. Cheers. That one is oh, that man. one is good. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's one thing that we didn't point out. It says brewery really oh, funny. Yeah, and yeah. I I thought that might be just a, a, a way yeah. of bump, bumping up the ABV, mm -hmm. but I think you do oh, get. Man. No, you really. I'll oh, track you up on the aroma. Yeah, it's it. really simple. You know, the aroma. Now that now a couple of minutes, seconds, sorry, after that's gone down, you get a real sort of um, almost juicy. It's like you know when you've like actually squeezed honey into your mouth. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> I actually have done that. But you, you get like a real, a real kind of like Body warmth of honey. Yeah, that's what we do apparently. <laughs> that's how they get the tan. But it's honey. You you get a lot of that honey on the back end. I'm really yeah. surprised about that because it kind of overpowers the whiskey. Almost. It's quite a waxy, earthy honey. The texture and quality and the body on that's fantastic. Oh, isn't it? That top top ooh. end of medium, bottom end of yeah. Yeah. full. Um, you but get it just improves the kind of drinking um, experience. Wow. I'd say. I think you get the rye whiskey quality in the middle of the palate. It okay. kind of almost kind of um, spikes with a tiny little bit of what could come, be confused with bitterness, but I think it's just dryness. Yeah, um, dry kind of spiciness almost yeah, from yeah. the whiskey. Um, Currants and yeah, and black pepper. Oh, yeah, Definitely you get, you get, yeah, well, again, and the rice coming out of the That's the spiciness, isn't yeah. it? I guess, yeah. Um, yeah, that honey is just taking me by surprise in the back end. Yeah, but it's nice. Wow. Yeah, I, I, think it's, I think it's lovely. I mean, I, 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 I really like this range of beers. I mean, they are very expensive. Um, but sometimes well, you've you just got to kind of. I mean, that, you can taste the, the price in that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the, quality the quality right is there. really good. You mean, they're, they're expensive beers in America, so when you see them in, in Europe, you're always going to expect them to be yeah. expensive still. But and it's travelled and aged yeah. as well, so that's not bad. It's a world traveller, it's gone from um, uh, California America, to yeah. Denmark and then from Denmark to England. And Yorkshire. If, if you've got a bottle of this at the moment, I think now's the perfect yeah. time to drink it. Oh, yeah. I could not imagine that being any better right yeah. now. I mean, if, it, if it's aged anymore, I, I don't really know what would happen to fall it. out and it would um, be stuck. Yeah, but I think that's spot on right now, I really do. Yeah, definitely. Lovely stuff. Mm. So that is 2014 <sighs> bottle of 50 50 Eclipse. This is the green, um, dark green wax written house rye whiskey barrels, 11.9% ABV. See it, buy it, definitely. Love like it. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.